Good morning, and welcome to this time for children and for the young at heart. And I hope you are doing well. And I did you have a nice Halloween yesterday? Did you have a good time? We had a lot of trick-or-treaters come by our house, and some of the uh, trick-or-treaters, they were dressed up in all kinds of different costumes. Some uh, little girl was dressed up as a princess, and I saw a little boy dressed up as Batman. And uh, Anyway, they were in all kinds of costumes, wearing all kinds of masks, and we really had a good time, and I hope you did as well. And, you know, it's good to think about things that are good. You know, what the things that make us feel good. And today, Cynthia has a few things to show you that she thinks are good, things that mean a lot to her. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is this tiny little golden wedding band. This wedding band was my grandmother's. And so I decided years ago that I was going to wear this. And every time I look at that little bitty band, if I'm twirling it or thinking about something and I look down and it reminds me of her. So it's very good and special to me. One of the other things that I brought was there is an author by the name of Jim Weiss. And Jim tells some, ex some spectacular stories. This one's about Sherlock Holmes. And when Johnny, our son, was a little boy, we have quite a few of these. We would put this on and share the stories, or if we were riding in a car, well, what makes this so good and special is, I don't know if you can see this, but right over here, we'll see if I can get this right, right over there, the author actually wrote a note to Johnny on it and signed it. So this is something that we want to keep for a long time for our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. And another thing that we use sometimes in communion, if you ever watch the, the uh, church services with Pastor Bruce and I, um, which are on YouTube, um, I have special goblets. And this goblet was, um, I have a set of them, and they are from my other grandmother, my mother's mother. And she asked me, when I was a little girl, I was always looking in her china cabinet. And she had a whole set of these as well as candle holders that match and a candy dish. And one day I was finally an adult and she said, would you like those? And oh my goodness, I have taken such good care of these through the years. And so now they sit in my shelf and we use them for special occasions. So these are good and special to me. So we want you to think about the, th the things that are good in your life. Can you make a list? Maybe with your parents' help, you can, you can do that. With your mom or your dad or whoever, make a list of all the good things uh, in your life. And because God has given us so many things, and life is good because we know that God loves us, God loves you and loves every person. So let us give thanks to God for God's love and for all the good things in this world. So let us pray. Loving God, we receive so much that is good from you. Thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. And we hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for uh, being with us uh, for this time. And we'll see you next week. Until we meet again.